Hello and welcome everyone. This is Caleb from TASC at the National Rural Health Resource Center. We are here today to talk about critical access hospitals and what is a CA or a critical access hospital. Um, so a critical access hospital is a designation under Medicare. So it gets reimbursed differently from Medicare. Of the 5,000 plus or minus total community hospitals in the United States, 35% of those are rural hospitals at 1,800, and 1,300, give or take, of uh, those hospitals are critical access hospitals, which means 74% of the rural hospitals in the country are critical access hospitals. Critical access hospitals came about as a result of the Balanced Budget Act of 1997, which allowed this as a payment designation for Medicare. Um, and like I said, it allowed that as a new type of Medicare provider. Um, and it also brought with it grants to each state that has these type of hospitals to help support them. And that is the FLEX grant or now the FLEX program. Um, so the importance of these is the, the fact, the, the importance of that hospital in rural communities it's almost always the, the central organizer or hub of, of healthcare in a community um, for per primary care generally, but um, outpatient care as well as public health or nursing homes generally re revolve around the hospital. Um, and critical access hospitals are often the primary employer in a given town. Um, so local development, revenue, and employment, they're all a huge um, economic driver for the, for the community. So in order to be a critical access hospital, a hospital must meet um, so these criteria. It must be 35 miles from another hospital. There are exceptions to this rule, um, one of which you can see there is 15 miles by secondary roads or in mountainous terrain. There are additional hospitals that um, up until 2006 were able to be designated as critical access hospital necessary providers by each state had their requirements that hospitals needed to meet to, to meet those, but that eligibility ended in 2006. Um, so critical access hospitals get cost-based reimbursement from Medicare for inpatient services, outpatient services, labs, swing beds, and some other services. Um, some of the requirements as we discussed is the 35 mile um, distance between, between the hospitals or facilities. The average length of stay needs to be below 96 hours. They are not allowed to have more than 25 inpatient beds or Medicare certified beds. Um, and there are a couple exceptions to that rule as well um, with a separate psychiatric uh, unit as well as an, a rehab unit. Each, each you can have an additional 10 beds for those um, units and the hospital must also provide 24 hour emergency services. These hospitals go um, in throughout the country except there are five states that do not have critical access hospitals, but Alaska, Hawaii, um, and all but five of the contiguous US states. Um, there's a bunch of them in the, in the Midwest there, and the, each state varies as to how many they have and where they are. There are as few as three critical access hospitals in some states and as many as uh, more than 80 in, in some of the others. To get more information about critical access hospitals, the requirements, the obligations, uh, payment reimbursement, regulations, and information regarding critical access hospital status and the FLEX program, organizations, there are a lot of programs and services um, from the National Rural Health Resource as well as uh, RHI Hub, one of our partner organizations, to help support. Um, these hospitals and the and the rural communities across the country. I do encourage you to, to follow these links and let us know if you have any additional questions at task at ruralcenter.org.